Hello everybody, your next poem for class 10th is for Anne Grigori. Okay? This is a poem which we can relate to our lives, right? Just Let's just read the poem, after that you can relate it to our life. For example, somewhere we think that if it does not look good, then no one will like us and no one will love us. So let's start with the introduction of the poet and the poem. So first of all, the poem is written by W. B. Yeats. He is a very famous poet and he is an Irish nationalist. He was born, uh, he was an Irish nationalist. He was educated in London and Dublin and was interested in folklore and mythology. He was basically interested in mythology. He won the Nobel Prize for Literature in the year 1923. So, and if I talk about the poem for Anne Grigori, uh, he has tried, the poet has tried to touch very important topics through this poem and the important topic is what our looks, our liking and all, okay. Does our looks define someone's liking, does our looks define, matlab, if the, someone's liking and someone's behavior related to our, to our looks or not. He says that it is Im almost impossible to find a person in your life who loves you truly. So the poet here is defining that it is really import, uh, impossible for a person who loves you truly that every person judges you okay, either by your looks, by your nature and all. By saying truly he means the one who loves you for your qualities and not your looks. Okay? So this truly word defined it is really important, impossible for a person who only judges you for your qualities ke liye aapko judge, uh, uh, matlab, define karta ho, like karta ho, not based on your looks. He says that only God loves us for what we are from inside. So according to the poet, there is no one uh, who loves us for our qualities, only God is there who can love us uh, for what we are, for our qualities but not our looks, okay. So let's start read the poem. Never shall a young man thrown into despair by those honey colored, by those great honey colored ramparts at your ear, love you for yourself alone and not your yellow hair. So the poem is basically con uh, conversation between two person. The two persons are, first one is the poet and the second one is a girl named Anne Grigori. Okay? So, this poem defined kar rakhi hai. Ye do logo ke beech mein conversation hai. Ek to hamare poet ke beech mein and second one a girl named Anne Grigori. Okay? So, the poet is saying uh, to a girl that a young man can become hopeless. Okay? Ek person jo hai, it can become hopeless if, the, if uh, you will reject him. Okay? Okay? अगर हम किसी पर्सन को रिजेक्ट कर देते हैं किसी भी सेंस में तो वो जो पर्सन होता है वो होपलेस हो जाता है ठीक है सो हियर ही इज सेइंग दैट बट दिस डजंट मीन दैट ही हैड ट्रू लव फॉर यू इन हिज हार्ट इट डज नॉट मीन दैट ही हैड ट्रू लव फॉर यू सो नेवर शैल अ यंग मैन थ्रोन इनटू डिस्पर्ड बाय दोस हनी कलर्ड रैंपर्ट्स एट योर ईयर रैंपर्ट्स का बेसिकली मतलब होता है द साइड बोन्स जो होते हैं ठीक है, those are the rampers. So he is saying it is because why a person uh, does not love you for what you are. It is because you have beautiful hair. It does not define that you have beautiful hair, which he had fallen in love. ऐसा नहीं है कि कोई भी person जो है या फिर कोई भी person जो है वो आपके आपके beautiful hair के लिए आपको पसंद करता है, ठीक है? The girl has very beautiful hair. They fall on her ears and seemingly protect them just because just like a boundary wall protect the fort okay so the ramparts are what what i have say, uh, said is the ramparts are basically the sideburns or the flicks what we call for girls so the girl the girl and gregory has very beautiful hair and they those fall uh, towards her ears and all so that's why he uh, is saying the poet is saying he never shall a young man thrown into despair for your honey colored ramparts at your hair they fall on her oh, sorry so here the poet is pointing out at the reality which many people face during their youth that they are liked by the opposite gender not because of their inner beauty but because of their appearance so the poet here is saying कि normally अगर हम हमारे world के बारे में बात करें तो यहाँ पे जो basically people होते हैं they do not they do not like you for what you are for your qualities though today in today's world people judge you by your looks okay 
by your uh, basically beautiful hair and all okay so there he is saying this in the next paragraph but i can get a hair dye and set such color there brown or black or carrot that young men in despair may love me for myself alone and not my yellow hair okay next this is this paragraph has been said by ann grigori वो बोलती है कि इफ दिस इज द केस कि सम पर्सन डज नॉट लाइक मी फॉर माई येलो हेयर्स एंड ऑल सो आई कैन गेट अ हेयर डाई ठीक है सो हेयर द एन एन ग्रिगोरी रिप्लाइज दैट शी हैज़ अ वेरी नाइस सोल्यूशन फॉर दिस थिंग कि इफ द इफ अ पर्सन डज नॉट लव मी फॉर माई कलर्ड हेयर्स देन वॉट विल हैपन आई कैन गेट अ डाई ठीक है आई कैन डाई माई हेयर एंड चेंज द कलर इन टू ब्लैक और ब्राउन और कैरेट ठीक है आई कैन चेंज द कलर इन टू चेंज द कलर ऑफ माई हेयर इन टू एनी कलर as this will no longer make her look less attractive theek hai so since if i color my hairs and hair my into black or carrot or a brown so this will definitely does not uh, make me less attractive then maybe she will find the young man after that she says ki after uh, after coloring my hair maybe i can find a man theek hai who can love me for myself alone and not my yellow hair theek hai If I do this thing, जैसे poet पिछले paragraph में define कर रहा है कि if you have very beautiful hair and a person will thrown into despair, if a, a person will get sad and uh, rejected, ठीक है If you define this thing, then she uh, she replies कि I have a very nice solution. I can color my hair, ठीक है I can change the color of my hair. After that, the man जिसके बारे में हम बात कर रहे हैं he can love me for myself alone and not for my beautiful hair, not for my yellow hair, ठीक है Next is I heard an old religious man but yesternight declare that he had found a text to prove that only god my dear could love you for yourself alone and not your yellow hair so after hearing ann grigori ka solution matlab ann grigori ne jo solution diya tha that i can uh, color my hair usko sunne ke baad mein poet wapas se define karta hai that i heard he had heard a uh, an old religious man saying this thing कि उसको येस्टर नाइट येस्टर नाइट इज़ वॉट इफ आई से येस्टरडे नाइट ठीक है सो वो ये बोलता है कि मेरे को एक टेक्स्ट मिला था रिटर्न बाय मतलब मेरे को एक ओल्ड पर्सन ने ऐसा बोला था कि उसको एक टेक्स्ट मिला है जहाँ पे ये लिखा हुआ है कि ओनली गॉड कैन लव यू फॉर योर सेल्फ अलोन ठीक है इस पूरे वर्ल्ड में देर इज़ ओनली गॉड हु कैन लव यू फॉर योर क्वालिटीज़ हु कैन लव यू फॉर वॉट यू आर एंड नॉट फॉर योर येलो हेयर नॉट फॉर योर अपियोरेंस ठीक है सो लेट मी जस्ट रीड इट फॉर यू that he had heard uh, an old religious man say that he could prove a fact with a text that he had found in some religious book the fact was that it is only god who loves us for what we are and not how we look okay in the whole world it is only god who loves us for what we are and not for our looks right next is he loves us for our inner qualities so only god can do this no other person no other human being can do this now this is why uh, i have said this in the very beginning that we can relate this to our self we can relate this to our life it happens generally with us that we on, only think this ki if some person is looking beautiful then we can love uh, him or her then we can like him or her but it is not the case we does not uh, we do not judge their qualities we do not look to their look upon their qualities we always look upon their looks okay so there is only god in the whole world theek hai in the whole universe who can love us for our qualities not for our looks okay so let's move on to the figures of speech let's move on to the literary devices if we talk about the very first stanza the rhyming scheme for the stanza is so let me just tell you how come you can define the rhyming scheme so this is the first stanza the rhyming scheme for this is young man you can write a here despair d colored theek hai is c next is ear despair and ear i can write b alone d again and hair b theek hai so the rhyming scheme for first stanza is a b c b d b theek hai so let's just check this thing out okay a b c b d b theek hai so this is the rhyming scheme of first stanza 
नेक्स्ट वन इज देयर इज मेटाफर मेटाफर क्या होता है जब भी हम किसी भी चीज को डायरेक्टली कंपेयर करते हैं विदाउट यूजिंग द वर्ड लाइक और एस तो यहाँ पे हम लोगों ने हनी कलर्ड रैम्पर्स हनी कलर्ड रैम्पर्स एट योर हेयर तो एन ग्रिगोरी के जो हेयर है उनको रैम्पर्स रैम्पर्स बेसिकली क्या होता है फोर्ट की जो वॉल्स होती हैं उनको हम रैम्पर्स बोलते हैं तो उसके हेयर को उसके फ्लिक्स को फोर्ट के रैम्पर्स से डिफाइन किया है ठीक है सेकेंड इज इन द सेकेंड स्टैंडा अगेन वी हैव द राइमिंग स्कीम ए बी सी बी डी बी ठीक है नेक्स्ट देयर इज़ अ यूज ऑफ अलिट्रेशन अलिट्रेशन क्या होता है अलिट्रेशन इज द रेपिटेशन ऑफ कॉन्सोनेंट साउंड सो अगर कहीं पे कॉन्सोनेंट साउंड रिपीट हो रहा है उसको हम बोलते हैं एलिट्रेशन ठीक है दिस इज द सेकेंड स्टैंडा एंड देयर इज एलिट्रेशन इन सेट सच ठीक है यहाँ पे सेट सच में आपका जो एस साउंड है वो रिपीट हो रहा है तो इन द सेकेंड लाइन सेट सच में एलिट्रेशन है so if i talked about the third stanza that i heard an old religious man but yesternight so if i talk about the third stanza there is same rhyming scheme secondly there is anaphora anaphora kya hota hai agar aapka jo consecutive statements hai consecutive lines mein agar ek hi word repeat ho raha hai bar bar usko bolte hain hum anaphora for example if i say if i talk about these third and fourth line that he had found that only god so yahan pe aapka jo that word hai dono lines mein repeat ho raha hai to in dono line mein line number 3 and 4 there is a use of anaphora theek hai next is alliteration again alliteration is the repetition of consonant sound theek hai so he had mein h sound jo hai wo repeat ho raha hai in your your yellow there is the repetition of y sound so this is alliteration okay so this is all about the poem for anne grigori okay thank you